Welcome back everybody. This is what? Episode 18 of my Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke. And I'm just going to go ahead and load it up. So yeah, if we have a little quick recap. In the previous episode, we... Uh, no. Oh, in the previous episode, we uh, had a little mooch about. Uh, we got went through the National Park. And yeah, so we're on our way. We had the Squirt Bottle because we beat Whitney. And yeah, so we squirted the Sudorudo. And now we're going to head up here on our way to Equitic City. Um, look at our team. Oh, that's a good thing because I'd completely forgotten about that. What we'll do then is we'll just have a little wander back, find the Pokemon Centre, stock up on uh, some bits and pieces. And then we'll head up to Equity City. Um, probably, mm, hopefully, we're going to uh, go for, uh, well, aim for getting there this episode. Um, yeah, so we'll hopefully we'll get there this episode. Uh, but probably not um, take on the gym. We'll have to just, you know, keep an eye on those levels. But actually, I feel like we're doing okay at the moment. Whitney, although Whitney was kind of tough, uh, she wasn't too tough. I think we had good typing there. So uh, yeah, I was really happy with the fact that we took her down without taking too much damage. So yeah, I've been away for the weekend and um, got back to civilization. So now I have proper internet rather than the internet that I was attempting to use um, on Friday. Uh, so when this episode is done, we'll probably be able to upload it pretty swiftly, and uh, yeah, get it get it on there. It was uh, Friday Friday night slash Saturday morning was a bit a bit atrocious. So that that last episode was really tricky to upload. The, the internet kept falling out. It was just so so super slow. Not cool. So we'll take five super potions. And yeah, we'll take five super potions. We'll go, go ahead and see if we need any antidotes. We could do with a couple. Not sure how many how many more things that we're gonna come across, but I might take some paralyzed seals as well, just to be on the safe side. So we haven't got any, so we'll go ahead and take some of those. I'm sure they'll come in handy sometime. Okay, so let's uh, let's hit the road. Get us a, get get out on our way to Equity City. Let's just check my Pokemon. We'll switch them around so we've got the lowest one up first. Uh, so uh, so we can keep making sure that we level everybody up evenly. But yeah, we're well on the way to being level thirty now, so that is pretty cool. And I'd imagine that if we were uh, around about level thirty maybe just slightly above, then the next gym shouldn't be too difficult. Although, to be fair, I have no idea what that gym's going to be. Hmm. Maybe some... Maybe, is it is it psychic or perhaps ghost-type gym? Oh, I'm not too sure. Anyway, that's fine. I'm happy to have a surprise. Happy for having a surprise. Let's uh, talk to this guy here. Hiya! Hi, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to give me brick break, is he? Brick break. Sweet. Okay, right there. Pick up this item. Paper potion. Excellent. That's awesome. So, yeah, well, hopefully you guys are all okay and you've had a pretty decent weekend. Um, I have had a brilliant weekend. I've been away doing Mother's Day stuff and uh, spending time with family, so that's been really nice. Um, oh, this is the new route. I believe it is. So it is catching time. Uh, who is it? Uh, it's Kipper that's got yawn, isn't it? So we'll stick Kipper up. Go for the yawn. Yawn headbutt, yawn headbutt might be the thing to do. Right, come on then. Come on then, let's get a Pokemon. Woohoo, here we go, new encounter. Oh, a Ladian. 
eh, that's okay, I suppose. Um, like I said before, I'm not mad keen on bug type Pokemon. Oh, I thought we had Headbutt. We don't have Headbutt, we have Takedown. Well, maybe we'll just try a water gun. I mean, we've got. We are confused. Uh, let's switch out then. Um, I think it must be Emily that has headbutt. Somebody has headbutt. I'm sure somebody has headbutt. That guy who was butting trees. I'm sure we've told it to somebody. It might be Emily. Go ahead and see what Emily's got. Ice punch. Did that yawn not go off? I'm really not feeling catching this. Why, why would you do that? Why would you go for a thunder punch when... <sighs> when you know that I'm weak to ice type moves and you have ice punch? Weird. Oh, we do need some more Pokeballs. Mm, oh, I'm not going to traipse all the way back. Because to be honest, we need we only need to try and catch this Pokemon, don't we? It's the one encounter for the route. So there you go. And it's caught. So we have a Ladian, um, which is, I suppose, okay. I mean, we probably won't. We probably won't use it because I just can't see a time coming when when that's going to be too too useful. Five star Pokemon. Five star Pokemon. Yes, we'll give it a name. We will call it. We will call it Don't We will call it Polly 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 There we go Polly is caught named and heading away to the box yeah, so as I was saying before I got uh, sidestepped, sidetracked, sorry, by uh, encounters, random encounters, um, I've had a nice weekend, and some of the things that I've been doing this weekend have been, you know, kind of hanging out with family, friends and stuff, and also I've been getting ready for One Trade Wednesday, and I have gone ahead and I have bred 60 uh, Meditite, and they are called Monkey. And they are jolly, I think. Possibly. Um, mama, mama, mama. Yep, and they have elemental punches. I think they have three elemental punches and a drain punch as their in their move set. So they are pretty cool. And yeah, so I will be wonder trading monkeys on Wednesday, around about seven o'clock GMT. Um, yeah, but I have also been thinking, right, it is April Fool's Day on Tuesday. Oh, Gasly has just put Blaine to sleep. That's not cool. That is not cool, Gasly. Oh, rat bags. Oh, no. It's not good. It's not good. Oh. I'm not liking this at all. Although I'd imagine now he's going to go for another Dream Eater. So I should be able to get this. Yeah. Sparks will be fast. So Sparks will just go straight in there. Brilliant. Yeah, so it's April Fool's Day on Tuesday, I think. Um, so I was thinking I might do a special Wonder Trade event for April Fool's Day. I was thinking, right. What kind of Pokemon would be really good Pokemon to Wonder Trade uh, on April Fool's Day, which is, you know, sort of be supposed to be a day of tricks, um, you know, playing tricks on people and that kind of stuff. And I was just racking my brains to try and think of Pokemon that would be appropriate. So maybe like uh, Mime Junior, Mr. Mime, because they kind of are supposed to be a bit like clowns. But then I thought, no, because actually clowns really freak me out. So, yeah, I was carrying on trying to figure out what I might do. And then it hit me, right? There are loads of Pokemon whose ability is Prankster, or hidden ability is Prankster. 
So, and pranksters, they play jokes, don't they, and tricks on people. So I was thinking that for Wonder Trade Wednesday, I might try and breed some decent IV'd uh, prankster Pokemon. For example, uh, there's one that I definitely, definitely can breed, and that is um, Esper. Um, because I know that, uh, let me get this right, male Esper, when it evolves into Meowstic, its hidden ability is Prankster. And I have to say that um, Esper and Meowstic has been uh, one of my favourite Gen 6 Pokemon. I just think they're really awesome. And like I didn't, I hadn't really thought about them. I, I didn't really know anything about Gen Six before I started playing it. And um, in my first playthrough, where it was just kind of normal playthrough, catching everything, I didn't actually use an Esper or a Meow Stick. Um, but then my second playthrough on my X copy, I did um, a Nuzlocke, and uh, I caught an Esper outside Parfum Palace, um, that was my random encounter, and uh, it was a male Meowstic, which I know is more defensive than offensive, so it doesn't particularly suit my style of play, however, I just loved it, um, I named my Esper Apollo, and I was just fought through, managed to keep it alive all the way through my playthrough, and really, really thought it was a genuinely awesome Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, so I was thinking for Wonder Trade Wednesday, I might do some, um, no, not Wonder Trade, sorry, for April Fool's Day, special Wonder Trade event, pranks to Pokemon, uh, male Meow Sticks is something that I, I would consider doing, although it might be difficult to actually Wonder Trade off Meow Sticks, male Meow Sticks, because I'd have to evolve them. Um, so I'd have to spend that time levelling my meow sticks, and uh, it might just that would probably just take a while. <sighs> oh, excuse me, guys. Now we've got all these Pokemon that are asleep, which is kind of annoying because we're not that close to Aquatic City. But oh, I really don't want to turn around, go back to that Pokemon Center again. Oh, that would just absolutely drive me mad. I was like, I didn't, I didn't calculate into the fact that I'd be needing um, awakenings because you don't actually get put to sleep that much in the game. Things that happen mostly are uh, you get paralysed or you get um, blah, 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 poisoned. Yeah. So I was, I have been considering other Pokemon that I could do for um, April Fool's Day. Um, obviously, it's uh, like a day or two away. So it's Sunday today, so um, I actually haven't got that long to breed my Pokemon because I've got work tomorrow and I've got to prepare for work tomorrow. Oh, I get a magnet. Go ahead and give that to Sparks. Awesome. So, you know, I'm, I'll definitely be able to prepare one um, type of Pokemon for April Fool's Day, but might not be able to prepare any more than that but I was thinking that perhaps maybe um, Klefki might be one with Prankster or or I was thinking maybe Sableye it's his hidden ability I think if I could manage to get hold of a, a Prankster Sableye because I'm a big fan of Sableye too I am currently playing through my X game again and I'm doing a solo run, and I'm doing a so Oh, what? Do you know what? I walk down these routes, and I am constantly... Ah! Uh, uh, oh! No. Growlithe is, like, one of my most all-time favourite Pokemon. I mean, seriously. I love this guy. Ah, oh, and I caught a Ladian. Why, could I have, why couldn't I have met a Growlithe? Look how cute Growlithe is. Ah. Oh. I know, you know, I've got Blaine and I don't really need another fire type, but ah, oh, Growlithe and Arcanine, they were always on my team in red and blue. Just absolutely loved them. 
Oh, they're so, so good. Now, I've missed out on catching one. That is sucks. It's like when I ran into that surskit, and when I ran into the shinks. Oh, so annoying. Much annoy. Oh. Oh. That is, that is the, that is the downside of Nuzlocks. I mean, clearly, the other downside of Nuzlocks is that, um, your Pokemon faint, they're dead. <laughs> Gone forever. But, the other thing is, you just, you know, there, I'd be like, oh, actually, I'll catch Growlithe and fill my, fill my team about a bit. But no. But no. Ugh. Oh, Growlithe. There's a, there's a there's a possibility for a Wonder Trade Wednesday. Oh, serious. Right, well, I'll scoot past them. There's no scooting past them, is there? Nuts. Ah, nuts. <sighs> Got all these sleeping Pokemon. Oh, do you know what? Apologies, apologies, apologies. Just, I'm just going to... This is not what it seems. I'm not actually going back to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I apologise, guys. But if uh, if anything, I'm learning from my mistakes. And there is, I'm remembering when I lost Snips to the double battle that I wasn't concentrating on, and that probably we weren't in the best position to fight. So <sighs> the last thing I want to do is lose any of these Pokemon. So let's go heal them like an idiot. La la la, just, you know, bear with, bear with. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so, the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I can talk about that while I'm healing up and getting back to that route, is my shiny Ho-Oh. I have to say that really slowly, Ho-Oh, 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 giveaway. Okay, so here is how it's going to work. I would like... If you would like to win my shiny ho -Oh, which I will be posting a picture of on Twitter and Instagram later today. If you want to win my shiny ho -Oh, okay, what I would like you to do is I would like you to tweet me or um, message me on Instagram um, with a shout out. I want you to hashtag Give me the ho o, -oh and then tag me in it, okay? And uh, go ahead and follow my Twitter account. Right, so we're shouting out, give me the ho o, -oh, and uh, tagging me in your tweet. And if I see that I've been tagged in a tweet that says, give me the ho o, -oh, then I will uh, put you into the draw, and you could win my shiny Spanish ho o. -oh. Obviously, I'll post post a picture on my Twitter feed and on my Instagram later, um, showing you the ho -oh, to show that I do actually have one, and it's ready there to be given away. And then you know you can go ahead, spread the word, give me my give me the shout out, uh, tag me in it, and uh, follow my Twitter account. And you know, like I said before, this is this is hopefully going to help to grow my channel and you know get people involved in what I'm doing because. It's kind of what it's all about, you know, getting everybody involved, everybody talking about Pokemon, enjoying the Let's Play, and, um, yeah, just sharing good times together. <sighs> so, yeah, um, hopefully that this video will go up later today, and my ho pitch will also go on Twitter and Instagram later today. But uh, after I've recorded this episode, I've got to go and do some work ready for tomorrow. Um... And then we'll see. Then we'll see. Hopefully I'll have time to get the ho -Oh, uh, picture up. And uh, yeah, so you can all start shouting out, tweeting me, and getting some buzz going. That'd be awesome. Oh, how could that not take that minim out completely? It's ridic. Ridic. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is we will dig on this puzzle. Plusel. Plusel? Plusel. Because it's plus and minus. Plusel. So we'll dig that plusel and then with them we'll hit minimum with extra sensory. 
Hopefully, then that will take these guys down. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I'll come over all sleepy all of a sudden. I've had a really, really, really busy weekend. It's been good, but you know, I'm starting to feel kind of tired now. I feel like I need some uh, caffeine or something just to wake me up. Especially because actually I have got quite a lot of work to do tonight for work. Um, but I can, I can, I can picture how I'm just gonna like do a little bit and then I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> so <laughs> might need to get up early in the morning just to make sure that I'm ready for the day ahead. Okay, so this is taking so just far too long. I'd imagine it's probably because I'm not concentrating, but. The plus all is not looking like it's going to be able to do too much damage to me. And Sandshrew is going to, Emily is going to come up and hit it with that dig attack. So it should do good work. He did. She did. Sorry. Well, sorry, Emily. Apologies. She did good work and took out the plus all. And gained a level two, which is awesome. We're uh, creeping ever, ever closer to that uh, 30, level 30. I need to really check out um, what level these guys do start learning some of those key moves that I want them to learn before they evolve. I would imagine that it's going to be in the 30s somewhere. So, oh, clock's going off. Um, yeah, so if I, uh, I need to just kind of try and make sure that I remember to do that because usually they do sort of start learning their strongest moves um, up in the 30s especially if they're a three stage evolution um, so hopefully that means that we can start getting these guys evolved soon too um, because you know in the last gym it didn't it didn't really seem to make too too much difference that we were lower level we were a, um, a pre-evolved Pokemon but as we play through the game I think those those stat boosts are going to be really really important um, you know this uh, this this uh, game is is it has been de designed to be harder than a regular Soul Silver run through. So poke uh, gym leaders, Pokemon trainers, they've got more um, Pokemon, um, and so you know if the if I have stronger Pokemon, then obviously that's going to be uh, really helpful. But I I would still prefer to to let them evolve when they've when they've gained their good go-to moves so you know like uh, a flamethrower for example on um, Blaine oh have to be a bit careful hopefully we'll be able to just finish these guys off before anyone gets a chance to put any more attacks onto Blaine. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Quite pleased though with how the Nuzlocke's going. I mean, we did have that sort of bumpy start, I think, in the learning curve for me. Um, not having ever done kind of an, a lock challenge of any kind on these older games. I mean, the, the first one I've done has actually been um, during since I've got X and Y I've never once done any kind of challenge um, playing through any of these older games and I've all, I always found these older games pretty challenging anyway um, so I, I didn't really feel like I needed to increase that challenge I just enjoyed like kind of custom building teams for my own, be my own benefit and replaying games like that so I think there was a bit of a learning curve um, because you know you get used to don't you you get used to how you can sort of sacrifice Pokemon for the overall win if you're not bothered about them fainting so you get you kind of get into that mindset of well oh I'll put that one out there so I'll heal while I heal up this one in the, behind the scene that one can get taken out then I'll bring this other Pokemon back and and all kinds of stuff like that and um, actually you can't do that in a Nuzlocke and you have to be kind of careful you can't like I think in Bugsy's gym I was like well you know Oh, we're faster. It doesn't matter. We'll just go. We'll hit it. And um, I was, n I was not cautious enough. Oh no, I didn't see that. What's this? 
Oh, no, no, no. Well, mm, Swift. What power is Swift? Swift is 60. Tackle is 50. Quick Attack is 40. I think we'll go ahead and forget Quick Attack. I mean, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I'm not, I never tend to particularly use that. I mean, those normal type moves I generally use for catching Pokemon rather than actually battling, so... I mean, during a playthrough, I'll make sure that I've got one of those on most of my Pokemon, just in case there comes a time where I just need a small attack. <sighs> but I don't think we really need quick attack um, too much. Yeah, so I think what, what happened was that I was getting a bit complacent, and then, and that complacency come, came from, obviously, the old, the old way of playing. Um where you didn't have to think too much about uh, what was going to happen to your Pokemon because it didn't matter if they fainted. So I was uh, uh, not quite cautious enough. Whereas now I think I've started to learn and I'm starting to be trying to be a little bit more cautious and to get weighing up the options before I make a decision. Yeah. And I've just remembered I was talking about I was talking about Sableye, wasn't it? Wasn't I before I got interrupted? before sorry guys yeah i um i have a touch of like uh well i have um dyslexia but with numbers i'm not actually dyslexic with with words particularly but i'm dis i have uh dyscalculia numberlexia whatever you want to call it um but also and that also means that my thoughts are quite disorganized and i have um a problem keeping on on kind of the same uh thought path so you might probably find while you're watching this that I kind of jot around from one uh, one idea to the next. So yeah, uh, or forget what I was saying entirely. Oh, we're at Equ Equitique City already. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll, he we'll head into the uh, Pokemon Center. Has it got one of those juggler guys? Oh no, there's a guy. Who's this guy? Yeah, anyway, so quickly before I forget, Sableye. I'm doing a Sableye solo run on my ex. And um, Sableye is an absolute beast on my ex. I've never done a solo run before and I'm absolutely loving it. So I was thinking that uh, I might try and do a Pranks to Sableye for April Fool's Day as well, if I have time. So anyway, getting back to this, before before I forget, this is Bill. Hmm, Beck, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lynette from Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage system. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye See you later, Bill. Awesome. Oh, there's no juggler dude in this Pokemon Center, so we've not got that the opportunity to cap to grab another Pokemon. But we have still got the one in Goldenrod, I think. So we picked up one from Azalea, we picked up one from Violet, but we did not pick up one from Goldenrod. So we do have the option to go back and grab that if we need another spare Pokemon. Uh, do you know what though? I'm looking at the time and I'm seeing it's about 28 minutes. So that's probably this is probably a good place to uh, end the episode. We are, you know, we've just arrived at Ecotique City. We, uh, we don't really have time to do a whole lot more. So we will uh, pause the episode here. I'll go ahead and save it. Uh, I want to say thank you all for watching it again. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. That would be totally awesome. Um, leave me a comment if you think there's anything that I could improve on or anything you enjoyed. Um, don't forget, head over to my Twitter and Instagram feeds for the Shiny Ho-Ho giveaway. And also, you know, just to keep up to date with what's happening, I tweet out on when I do my Wonder Trades. So, you know, it makes sense to go over and just at least give my Twitter a, a follow if you want to keep keep abreast of what's happening. Um, anything else? Uh, it would be awesome if uh, we could share these videos a little bit. And, uh, you know, so if you've enjoyed them, go ahead and tell your friends. That would be totally awesome to uh, sort of try and get the subs up and get the, like, the uh, views up a little bit. Um, and yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I will hopefully see you for episode 19 tomorrow. Uh, see you later, guys.